Alright guys, Russ Lyman here and I want to tell you about my first time playing the Atari 2600. Now growing up it was very common to get hand-me-downs and I didn't have my own video game system but my cousins did and they got tired of playing it so of course they handed it down to me and I got a case full of games. They were actually in a milk crate and it had the Atari 2600, the wood grain one, and assortment of games, Asteroids, Pitfall, Moon Patrol, Combat, and it had the joysticks as well as the uh, paddle controllers. And it was in the basement at my mom's house and it was definitely set up like the 70s with wood paneling and we had this old couch that had the worst fabric ever. <laughs> but we had the Atari set up on one of those TV carts. It was a metal cart. And there was a small TV on there. Maybe it was a 12-inch um, TV. And it, it was the old TV where hooking up the Atari, you had to use this box that had a switch on it that said TV and I believe it said computer, and it had two prongs that came out that would go into the back of the TV that you would have to use like Phillip head screws. So you would unscrew those, put the prongs in, and then screw this back in. So I'd set up the Atari and, you know, grab my milk crate of games and try out a couple of games here and there. I definitely had a good time playing Asteroids. My tactic on that though was I wouldn't move the ship because once you start moving, it's hard to stop and you end up crashing into the asteroids. So I would stay in the middle and just fire, you know, around. I just recently got back from the Portland Retro Gaming Expo and Atari Age is set up out there showcasing a whole bunch of homebrew games and stuff that maybe people wouldn't have thought of back then and I played a few and they're pretty awesome. They actually have a version if you like to play Halo on the 2600, you can do so. So it's, it's kind of cool that it gets that recognition. 